How is MathWorks empowering young engineers and data scientists? What tools, techniques and skills do they need to arm themselves with? To discuss this and more, we talked to Prashant Rao, Senior Technical Manager at MathWorks. In our fourth video for this eight-part series, Prashant gave us a developer's view of MathWorks, his take on the over-designing problem and exciting use cases in analytics. So uh, we provide, uh, or we are the makers of MATLAB and Simulink, and we provide, uh, these are platforms that essentially enable uh, users to carry out technical computing and modeling and simulation tasks uh, in an end-to-end -end manner. And within that, in the context of AI, we see that our customers or our users need to get in a lot of data, make sense of that data, and uh, develop their AI, ML, deep learning algorithms, uh, tune these, train them, and then essentially also deploy them. And we help them through that whole process. So we see more and more adoption of these uh, across industries and across application areas. Some uh, times in the medical field, uh, we've got a number of uh, customers who use our tools to develop uh, uh, develop devices that help patients. For example, actuation of uh, muscles or helping uh, patients uh, who have uh, partial paralysis stand. We see this in the automotive industry, for example, using AI techniques for uh, developing algorithms that help vehicles uh, steer or, or control them uh, with the increasing adoption or increasing uh, proliferation of, of uh, autonomous systems or autonomous vehicles, many of these require or use AI techniques. When, when engineers and scientists need to adopt AI or machine learning techniques, they actually need to adopt much more. They need to go down the whole workflow. They need to access data from various different data sources. They need to pre-process that data, clean it up, uh, find the right machine learning algorithm to use for uh, uh, developing their actual application. Within this, they also need to then figure out what platform they would like to deploy on and then target that platform as well. We provide a solution that enables them to go from end to end, all the way from accessing data to deployment on whichever platform they're going towards. Maybe overkill at times. So figuring out when to use a traditional methodology and when to use a data-driven methodology is key. So use the right tool for the right job uh, and not to get overly fascinated by one technology or the other, but bring them together to actually do, uh, do the tasks that you need to do. When I think of autonomous vehicles and uh, the amount of data that they need to process to be able to do something that actually, you know, practically every human being needs to do on a daily basis, that to me is quite impressive. 